Good morning and welcome to worship on this Sunday, March the 29th, 2020. My name is Derek Hoven and I'm the pastor at Salem Lutheran Church, but we gather this day as uh, more than one congregation. We gather with the good people at Zion Lutheran Church in Groveland, Florida, and with people from really all over the world as we are able to do digitally. As we gather this day, uh, we already have our candles here lit, a candle that we've been lighting all the way through the season of Lent. I invite you to light a candle at home and maybe grab a bowl of water to remind you that when God's word meets God's water, we are steeped in the waters of baptism. This week, uh, we continue to head towards Holy Week as well as try to find new ways to stay connected online. And so if you're part of our Salem community, we will be communicating opportunities to join in uh, digital or virtual coffee time. I will continue on Thursdays at noon to live stream Facebook conversations with our kids. And I'm working on an afternoon uh, sometime uh, each day to uh, start working our way through the whole book of Psalms. So thank you for being with us this day as we gather. In the Bible, there is a long tradition of lament. Uh, In the Psalms, uh, more than half of them are laments, opportunities for uh, the people of God to lift up their tears and their pain and their struggles to God, those laments often end with hope. And so in this early part of worship where we often begin with confession or with a thanksgiving for baptism, in this time of quarantine, we will begin with lament. These words come straight out of the book of Lamentations. Lamentations came from a time in the people of Israel when they had been carried away from their homes, the temple in the city torn down. These were the songs that they sang in that place of exile, in that place of being disconnected from home. So join me in this lament. How lonely sits the city that once was full of people. How like a widow she has become. She that was great among the nations, she that was a princess among the provinces, has become a vassal. She weeps bitterly in the night with tears on her cheeks. The roads to Zion mourn, for no one comes to the festivals. All her gates are desolate. Her priests groan, her young girls grieve, and her lot is bitter. Jerusalem remembers in the days of her affliction and wandering all the precious things that were hers in days of old. When her people fell into the hand of the foe and there was no help for her, the foe looked on, mocking her downfall. All her people groan as they search for bread and maybe for toilet paper and other supplies. They trade their treasures for food to revive their strength. Look, O Lord, and see how worthless I have become. He has made my teeth grind on gravel and made me cower in ashes. My soul is bereft of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. So I say, gone is my glory and all that I had hoped for from the Lord. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end and they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Amen. Amen. We join in singing just a closer walk with thee. Just a closer walk with thee. is my plea daily walking close to thee let it be dear Lord let it be I am weak but thou Thee. Just 
just a closer walk with Thee. Grant it, Jesus, is my plea. Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son came into the world to free us from all sin and death. Breathe upon us the power of your Spirit that we may be raised to new life in Christ and serve you in righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the word, thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, 
And they lived and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Then he said to me, mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy and say to them, thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people. And I will bring you back to the land of Israel and you shall know that I am the Lord. And when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, I will put my spirit within you and you shall live and I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Even as we began worship today with lament, our appointed psalm for this day is a lament as well. Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you were to keep watch over sins, O Lord, who could stand? Yet with you is forgiveness, in order that you may be feared. I wait for you, O Lord. My soul waits, in your word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who keep watch for the morning, more than those who keep watch for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for the Lord there is steadfast love. With the Lord there is plenteous redemption, for the, for Lord, the Lord shall, shall redeem, redeem Israel, Israel from, from all, all their, their sins. sins. The word of the Lord. A reading from Romans, the eighth chapter. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. For this reason, the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. You are in the spirit. Since the spirit of God dwells in you, Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. If the Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his Spirit that dwells in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We join in singing a gospel acclamation. and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and abounding in steadfast love. 